Anne Garrell's groundbreaking work as a radio and television broadcast journalist spans over three decades. She is perhaps best known for her extraordinary reporting as NPR's senior foreign correspondent, which has allowed public radio audiences to better understand America's conflicts around the world. If you had told me I was going to be a war correspondent 35 years ago, I would have burst out laughing. I didn't know women who had pro professions like as a journalist or a lawyer or a doctor even. I think Annie's big impact on radio journalism more than anything else is that young female reporters see someone who they can emulate like never before. Annie's a bit of a pioneer. There are very few people who have been in such dangerous situations for such a long time and who can do all the things that she's been able to do. Anne was born in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1951. And had the classic 1950s childhood. I was the third of three children. I was much younger. My mother didn't work. I mean, I really was very fortunate in the you know, my father had a good job. Education in the family was very important. When I was about eight, my parents moved to England, so I had the experience of living overseas. And I went to an English boarding school, which I loathed. At 16, Anne returned to the United States and enrolled at Middlebury College, and then transferred to Harvard's Radcliffe College, where she picked the unlikely major of Russian. I fell in love. I fell in love not just with the language, but with the entire, the literature, the history, and the trauma of the Soviet Union. After graduating, Anne landed a job at ABC Television Network and was sent to the Soviet Union as a foreign correspondent for World News Tonight. I had never been on the air. I was a junior, junior, junior assistant, assistant producer, and I said, sure. Well, I got to Moscow, and I remember standing in the apartment the first night going, what in God's name have I done? I was so ill-prepared for this. But Anne persevered. And I became very close to Andrei Sakharov, who was the father, really, of the human rights movement in, in the Soviet Union. And I learned what it meant to be to fight for what you believe in. I learned what it meant to be truly brave. By 1982, Anne Garrell's insightful reporting resulted in her being expelled by Soviet officials. ABC News then sent Anne to Washington, D.C., where she met her future husband, Vint Lawrence. It was love at first sight, but I had to chase him pretty hard. And eventually, ABC decided to send me to El Salvador. Before next Monday's meeting, Salvadoran officials say they must scurry around to make sure this propaganda masterstroke does not turn into a lost opportunity. Ann Garrels, ABC News, San Salvador. I was the bureau chief correspondent in, in Central America for a couple of years and then came back to Washington where I was a State Department correspondent. In 1986, Garrels and Lawrence married after a four-year courtship. When I joined NPR in, in 1988, I was sent around the world, essentially to cover the growing conflicts, starting with the breakup of the Soviet Union, and then Yugoslavia, and then Chechnya and Russia. I did not intend to be a war correspondent. The wars really found me. I think that in a dangerous situation, you have to be a leader. Someone has to be in charge. She's someone who can lead people through the force of her personality. People want to work with her, and I think people trust her, and people uh, know that she's got their back. Well, she cares about people. She really cares about people. She really, this really gets to her. After her assignment in Moscow, Anne and Vint decided to make Norfolk, Connecticut their permanent residence, with Anne traveling six to eight months a year for NPR. Annie will go anywhere for a story. Uh, she has tremendous curiosity about what is going to happen. She sort of enjoys being on the edge. Well, of course, 9-11 affected all of us. For me, it meant going to Afghanistan. And then when the Bush administration clearly was angling for a war with Iraq, I felt I could be there, maybe learn something in the run-up to the war, and 
be there to watch what happened as a witness. I am a good witness. She's very, very careful about what it is a, a journalist does. They don't save the world, but they are witnesses to the world. And she takes that role extremely seriously. The best stuff she did out of Iraq was, was really talking about the impact of the war on the people who had to live through it. A lot of people see a foreign correspondent's job as I'm gonna fly in, I'm gonna fly out, and I'll go on to some other great location next. But what she does is she goes someplace again and again and again to make sure she gets the story right. And, and a lot of people don't have, I don't think, the, the fortitude, maybe the, the conviction to do that. And that's, I think, one of the things that sets her apart. Another difference that set her apart in Iraq was being a female correspondent. Because I could walk both sides of the street. I could cover the male side. On the other hand, I had access to family life. I could go in and talk to the women, whereas a male correspondent could never do that in Afghanistan or Iraq. I was able to bring an added dimension to the story. I think that her reporting is so important for democracy because people are making up their minds based on information that, that she's getting and that, that nobody else was getting. She's a very tough reporter, and I think that she is dogged at going after stories that people don't want to tell. And that's, I think, something that's distinctive about her work. Ann Garrels ended up reporting from Iraq for seven years. During the Iraq War, Garrels was one of only 16 American journalists who chose to stay in Baghdad while it was being bombed by U.S. forces. As I get off the phone, there's a huge blast that literally throws me from my chair. The hotel shutters. I think another bomb has landed close by and continue typing. The hotel phone rings. It's Amr. I assume he wants to tell me about an upcoming press conference, and I start to mutter that I'm about to go on the air. When he interrupts with the words, get out now, hotel hit. I go straight for the sat phone. If the hotel's going up in flames, I figure I'd better take the phone with me. Ann Garrels has received just about every award in the field of broadcast journalism, including the George Polk Award, the Columbia DuPont Award, and the Courage in Journalism Award from the International Women's Media Foundation. Ann has also been awarded three honorary doctorate degrees. Ann Garrels and her work in, in Baghdad during the Iraq War may be one of the last great reporters who spent a long time getting to know a war that we'll ever see. It just may never happen again. And I think for that, people will be studying the work that she's done for years.